Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video and today we have the third episode of the Rookie Card PC Collection Series. So today we are featuring Ronald Acuna Jr. Super excited to get into this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying these. We have been doing these about once every two weeks since we started. So hoping to continue this for a little while and uh, keep it going. So hope you guys enjoy. Um, not as many cards in this week's um, episode due to me being out of the hobby in 2018. But I still have a lot of really nice cards that I found on my journey through card shows, you know, card stores, buys, trades, and uh, pack pulls as well. So let's get right into it, guys. Hope you're all doing well. And let me know if you enjoyed this series. Going to continue this as long as I can, as long as I don't run out of players. But you know with every year coming out with a whole new palette of players it's going to be uh that shouldn't be an issue so looking forward to continuing this as part of the channel but first off we're going to get into some insert cards and uh, rookie cup cards and whatnot so some acuna prospect cards and stuff like that before we get into the rookie cards but we're starting us off with a 2020 gypsy queen this is a logo swap insert it's a variation and we got a nice overdrive from Panini Chronicles. This one is numbered out of 299. Beautiful card there. We got a couple second year Acunas. This is the opening day cup card. Another cup card home run derby. And then the future is bright insert from 2018 update. Next up we got a very nice leaf. Ronald Acuna Jr. numbered out of 50. So this is the gold border. Bought this from the card store. About a year ago or so and uh, happy to still have this in the collection. It does have a surface issue which I didn't notice at first. But uh, still a really nice card. Now we're getting into Topps Chrome 2019 Baseball which is my favorite release of all time. So we are starting us off with a Future Stars card. Just a beautiful, beautiful design. I didn't appreciate these when they first came out. It kind of seemed like a, just a gimmicky thing. But... Uh, you know, over the years as these cards appreciated and uh, the Topps Chrome from 2019, you know, kind of uh, made its mark on collecting for a long time to come. This has really turned into a beautiful card. So got one of these Future Stars Acuna. Next up, we got the OxyClean in the background. This is from Topps Chrome Update, I believe, cup card. And we got a 2019, I think this is Series 2, Series 1 cup card of Ronald Acuna Jr. So this is the paper. And then the rest of the way we have a ton of chrome. So um, really nice here. We got the uh, regular Topps Chrome Acuna. Got a couple of those. We got one, two, and three. And then we got a, we got four. And then we have some refractors. We have the Sepia Refractor Ronald Acuna Jr. Cup card, which is a beautiful card. Pulled out of a blaster box, which is a blaster exclusive. Can't get blasters of these for, you know, under $200 now, which is pretty wild. On the shelves for $20 originally. And then next up, we have the Refractor version. So this one is a sharp looking card as well. So uh, that does it for the cup cards. Now let's get into the main course, the rookie cards. So like I said, not as many cards as the Vlad or Pete Alonzo PC collection. However, there are some very, very big cards in here. And I think you guys will enjoy this video. So let's get into it. We are starting us off with a little Topps 2018 update. This is the rookie debut. So we got a paper there. We got a couple of those. Then we're moving into, I got one Chrome. I bought this a couple months ago at the card stop, card sh uh, shop. So got one Chrome of that. Then I picked up a lot of these before last year's season. I picked up four rated rookies from Panini uh, Donner's Optic. And I got them for 10 bucks a piece, which I think they're probably more than that now. I mean, I don't know. I'm not selling these, but uh, I thought that was a good deal. I was trying to load up before the season. So um, Acuna was one of the main guys that I was... You know honing in on so we got a couple of these i believe i have four and then we actually pulled from a donris optic mega box the prism variation of this card so this is one of my favorite cards in the collection this is obviously uh it has a refractor look to it, it says prism on the back 
So just a beautiful card. Let's get to the back half of the rookie cards before we get into the slabs and the grand finale. So first off, I actually picked this up recently at a card show in Garfield. So this is the Topps Archives rookie card with Ozzy Albies and Luis Gohara. Then we got the uh, Topps Holidays, not the uh, SSP bat down card, but it is the same pose. So I picked this up for a fairly reasonable price. Probably the closest thing I'll ever get to the bat down Acuna, but it's still a really nice card. Then uh, I believe I picked up these before last season as well. I picked up a lot of the Topps Gallery Acuna rookie cards which I think are underappreciated and undervalued and just beautiful cards. So I did get two of those. Then I opened a couple blasters of Topps Heritage from 2018. I think I got them for 35 bucks back in the day, which wasn't too long ago. I got them at the card store, and I think they were just mispriced or something. But pulled some huge cards, some huge Juan Soto cards, which will be a future episode of the series. So stay tuned for that. But we did get two paper rookies, so base rookie cards, really cool shot. Then I picked this up at a card show, I believe. This is the 1983 Topps Design Rookie of Ronald Acuna Jr. Really nice card there. A little OC top to bottom, but overall, love that pose. I did pull this one. This was from a Topps Big League Blaster Box. You get a blue exclusive pack. It's like a cellophane pack similar to the 2016 Bowman uh Bowman value packs where you get the yellow card exclusive pack with the seal with the uh, clear seal and uh, You get one of those and I pulled the Ronald Acuna jr. The first one I actually still have one more blaster box that's sealed to this so who knows maybe we'll hit another but this is the blue border blaster exclusive Next on up. We got the tops archives rookie card Just a really cool picture in the on deck circle we got the donut on his bat ready to rake ready to roll and then these last two are probably my favorite non-slabbed rookie cards. I get picked these up at a show as well. Um, this is the uh, Bowman's Best Rookie Performers, or Best Performers. So just a sh super uh, cool card there. It's got the nice refractor finish to it. And then the one behind it is the same card, but it is to the tune of an atomic refractor. Check this bad boy out, ladies and gents. Just... An immaculate card. Crystals cascading down from the sky. I mean, can you find a cooler card than that? I think it'd, you'd be hard-pressed to find one, guys. Just look at that design. The Atomic Refractors have grown on me tenfold recently. I just think they're super underappreciated. And uh, they got that Topps Chrome Sapphire Cracked Ice look to it. So just a beautiful card of Ronald Acuna Jr. Now let's get into the slabs. Then the grand finale, guys. So first slab up is going to be a first Bowman Chrome PSA 9. Got this a little while back at the card store. Obviously wasn't collecting in 26, 2017, so didn't get to rip any of these packs. And I decided to pick up a PSA 9. I believe I got this for, I want to say like 100 bucks at the time, but uh, can't quite remember. This one was the only one that I pulled from all the Tops update that I ripped, and I sent it off to PSA. I did get a 9, so, you know, still mint 9, which is solid. But, uh, yeah, this was the only update true rookie that I got, but just a staple to the Acuna collection that you need to have, in my opinion. And then one of the Tops Heritage rookies of Acuna that I pulled, I did send off, and this one did get a gem mint 10, so strong card there. This next card up I pull or I bought at the Philly show um, last year for a pretty good price. I think I got it for around ninety to hundred dollars, which at the time was a good deal. And you could probably get it for even cheaper now. I haven't looked, but it's this is it's not really about that. This is a PC card, and this is from Topps Chrome Update. I still have a sealed mega box that I'm just terrified to open. I don't know if I'll ever be able to open it. Something about that, having that sealed box is just so special. Just thinking about all the different possibilities that could be in that. Like a red Juan Soto auto, rookie auto. I mean, those, I mean, there could be something massive in there. Then we got the true uh, regular Topps Chrome rookie, PSA Gem Mint 10. I actually had to buy this, and this is one of the cards that I made the mistake. I've, you know, I've everybody make, makes mistakes, and this was one of mine. I overpaid tremendously on this one during the hype right before he got injured 
he was killing it and I bought one and I don't even want to say what I paid for it but uh, I opened up a quite a bit of Topps Chrome from 2018 and never pulled a single one which was kind of disappointing so I had to go out and buy one and got the true Topps Chrome rookie PSA Gem Mint 10 and this last card is super unique and probably my favorite slab rookie of Acuna this is the Panini Chronicles this is a select aqua numbered out of 299 Ronald Acuna Jr. Gem Mint 10. Just a spectacular card. I mean, the aqua is such a cool finish to the design. It's got that chrome stock to it as well. And uh, Panini Chronicles is one of my favorite releases of all time. I was lucky enough to open up a box of this a year ago and uh, didn't pull anything like this, but got some really nice stuff and uh, picked this up at the card store. So this is probably my favorite slab. I know some people aren't a fan of Panini Chronicles without the logos, but personally I think this card is a work of art. So the grand finale is going to be a pack pulled card and it is the only autograph I have of Ronald Acuna Jr. It is from 2018 Donner's Optic, a mega box. I think I paid $40 for the box. Pulled this early on in the channel. Some of you guys probably already know. Most of you guys who have been following along definitely know this card already. But this is a beautiful one. It is going to be a gold border rookie autograph from 2018 Donner's Optic Baseball on-card autograph. So, I mean, this one is going to stay in the collection forever most likely it has a lot of sentimental value and uh obviously it's a huge card so um yeah that's that's the final uh the biggest card in the collection i'd probably say and uh maybe one day i'll get this graded probably get a nine but um i think that would still be a nice card to get slabbed up in a psa holder so definitely gonna have to do that down the road but it is the Prism, the Gold Prism Rated Prospect Auto to round out today's episode, guys. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hook me up with a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know who you'd like to see on the next one. I got a pretty good idea of who's coming up next, but I could add some guys, you know, further down the list and uh, get a little lineup car going. So that's gonna be it. Get a, uh, that's gonna be it today. Hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.